Hello, my name is JSRP and you're watching Kalakar Makerspace videos. In this video, we're going to see how to make this animation using pixel LEDs. These are WS2811 LEDs, which are addressable LEDs. And let's go through the process. First, I need to make the design. For that, I use Illustrator and I've already downloaded a design from freepick.com. It provides great vectors. So this is the vector that I've chosen and I want the circle to be around 24 by 24 inches so I create a new document and then copy paste the design into that uh, before that I'll draw a circle of 24 by 24 inches and then try to place the design inside it so I lock the circle layer and in layer number 2 I'm just dropping the design and expanding it to almost the entire size of the circle so that it's easy for me to print in the next step once i do that now i have to create another layer in which i'm going to draw some circles these circles will be cut to using the cnc machine and it will be of dimension 12 millimeters by 12 millimeters because that's the diameter of each pixel leds i'm trying to find a position over here keeping its center and let me just change the color to blue so that it is easily visible for me validating because it's such a colorful background and then I'm randomly just uh, copy pasting it and uh, the animation that I'm going to create needs to have 8 LEDs in one row and it needs to have 24 spokes so here I'm just duplicating the same uh, circle into 8 different uh, LEDs and then by changing the selection mode I'll be able to redistribute them uh, with equal spaces by using the align tools and here I'm just duplicating that and uh, positioning it down so that I'll use these two and will be able to rotate it with a 15 degree so I'll go to transform click rotate and set the degree as 15 but uh, here I'm just doing a calculation to see uh, what would the degree be so if I need 24 spokes so 180 divided by 24 gives me 7.5 and, and here I have two pieces together already so that's 7.5 and 7.5 and is 15 degrees so once I decrease that I click on rotate and here I set the 15 degrees I'm just checking the preview if it is aligning with the the design over here and once it is done i can press command d in mac or control d in windows and just duplicate it so here you can see the spokes being made but as you can see in the central uh, circle there is a problem that uh, each led is just overlapping on top of the other and if i'm going to go ahead and cut it in the cnc it's just not going to be a solid piece it will just fall off so I need to create more gap in this section right here. So here I am redistributing the circles and just moving the first circle a little bit on the top so that uh, when I'm duplicating the circles it just doesn't touch each other. So here I'm just quite adjusting that and once I distribute it equally now I'll be able to just uh, copy paste it at the bottom and then use the same rotate tool to make 24 copies. Fifteen degrees and I'm rotating it now, duplicating it now and you can see the circles are not touching each other. This is a perfect design because at the end you can see uh, the circles are right at the perimeter of the design. So it's perfect. So I'm just going to make a little bit of opacity change to check if everything is proper and it looks perfectly good, the distance is fine. Let me save this file and now it is sent for printing. Here you can see my staff cutting the design and i have actually made two designs because i wasn't able to really deduce which one would look good so i'm just uh, pasting this vinyl on an 8mm pvc sheet because this is going to be an outdoor project where i'm going to hang this light on the outdoor i thought pvc would be a good material and now i can use the cnc machine to cut those circles of course building a template and using a drill plus will also work but this just makes the work more accurate and faster. I'm using a 3mm bit which is single flute.
carbide bit and it just cuts the design like a breeze. That's mighty. He never leaves my side. And uh, the same solution is cutting each circles one at a time. And I put a uh, 24 inch circle so I'm able to get the design entirely out. And here are these LEDs. These are pixel LEDs which has a diameter of 12 mm. These LEDs have three wires which is 5 volts, data line and ground wire. Of course an RGB requires 4 pins but the WS2811 chip inside the LED takes care of it. So the way this works is I'm going to use 4 bunches because each bunch has 50 LEDs and I need around 192 LEDs which makes up to almost 4 bunches. And the way the data works is I start giving the data at one end of the bunch and I just have to do it in series for the other bunches meaning that the input of one bunch gets the output at the end and then that becomes the input of the next bunch and so on and so forth. The way we are going to wire this circle is we start from the center and then we go all the way to the top then jump to the second line and come down to the center again and then we are going to just follow this process so that the wiring is linear and easy to understand. And we're just going to follow this pattern again because uh, this way we can get a grid pattern and we'll be able to code better. The problem with this is that uh, when we give power at one end and we have such a huge wiring, the LEDs at the far end really dim. So here I am giving uh, 5 volts power to each individual bunches. That way all the LEDs will stay bright at all the times. So here I'm just connecting some jumper wires between all the power supplies plus and ground. Here is my power supply. Let me hook the power supply to the positive line and the negative line. And it's a 5 volt power supply with 5 amperes of power. And this is what is going to power the Arduino board as well. Because Arduino runs of 5 volts, it's a perfect combination. And the data is usually provided by an Arduino. I'm just uh, sealing up the positive and negative leads over here and here's the final output. The LEDs are in place but now I have to make a casing for it because right now it's just a sink because right now it's just a single circle and we cannot hang this anywhere and all the circuits are pretty much exposed. For that we just cut a 3 mm foam sheet and we are gluing it to the sides using some CA glue. We are forming a circle which has a depth of 4 inches because I need to make this look really bulky. And here uh, we are just coating the last end of it so that it makes a perfect circle. We are uh, sticking the power supply to the surface using double sided tape so that the power supply is inside and all I can have to do is just drag the AC line outside the box and everything is looks neat and simple. Now I just have to make a backing so that it covers the top so all the circuit is secure. For that again I am using 8mm PVC sheet and uh, bending some 3mm foam sheet to make a closed loop and here after cutting it this becomes like a male female connection where we can finally just press both the pieces together and here you can see them just going inside one inside the other very nice and easy finally just to lock everything in place i'm using some screws this could be glued also but if anything goes wrong i need to change the leds inside so i'm just gluing the pieces together here you can see the final look of how the box looks and i'm just going to hang that outside the maker space so once that is hung and the ac power is connected you can see the beautiful illuminations that come out of the leds I hope you really enjoyed this video and it gave you some information of how commercially these LEDs are made. When I went to Chennai this was really really intriguing for me and I wanted to show the same to you. I went to a lot of shop, asked a lot of questions and found this solution. If you like this project please let me know in the comments and please do support us on Patreon so that we can continue doing such projects. For everyone who is watching this video, thank you so much. We would love to see you next week. Until next time, happy learning.